Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 30. Inside this video, we are going to see the concept of session flash message as well as redirection. And also guys, if you are looking up the programming blog articles of KickPHP 4, CodeIgniter 4, MySQL, Node.js, WordPress, then you must visit this blogging website. Inside this blogging website, we have several different different categories with interesting blog topics. If I scroll down, here you will see a section of latest blog post. This latest blog post is displaying the recently posted blog articles. Back to the topic. So inside this video, we will display a success message as well as we will implement a redirection. In the last video, this is the form what we have created and by the help of this form, we have created some students and stew inside this table. So right now, when we fill any data, let's say this is the dummy detail what we are filling, click on submit. So right now as we can see that we are not getting any confirmation as well as a successful redirection. Instead, also we are getting our data inside this table as well. So we want that when we create any data from this form, we need a confirmation that is a student has been created or something else message. And also we want to redirect the user inside add a student form. So there are very few simple steps that we have to follow to implement these things. Back to editor. This is the controller so by the help of store student method we are saving our data. So three different things we need to do. First we need to set a flash message. Second we need to do a redirection and third we need to get the flash message and display inside this layout. So back to controller. Let's say set flash message. So setting a flash message actually we have different different methods. So inside this video, we are going to follow a simplest method. So either we can use let's say session and inside this session, we have a flash method. Inside this flash method, we need to pass a key and the second value, we need to pass a message. So this is the first syntax. In the second syntax, we are going to use the request object what we have loaded right here inside this method. So by the help of this request, we are calling session and again, we are going to call our flash method. Inside this key, we need to store our key as well as our value. So this is the second syntax. So let's say that we are going to follow this syntax and inside this, we are going to write a key and inside this value, let's say student has been created successfully. Now we have set a temporary message per each temporary request for one request. These are automatically flashed out. Now next, we need to set a redirection. So let's redirection and here we will use return redirect and let's say we want to redirect to student means all the users to this add student page. So for our add student page, we need to use this route called add hyphen student. So copy, go here and pasting it here. So for redirection, also we have multiple alternative ways. Either we can use this syntax or we have, if I make comment, instead of writing this route here, we can use two method and inside this two method we can specify here. So first thing we need we have done called setting a flash message. Second task we have done all about the redirection and the next we need to display our flash message inside this layout. So simply we are going to first check that our session let's say end f our session flash message has a key or not. So let's say session has and inside this has simply we are going to pass let's say success. This is the key what we actually we have stored our data. So firstly we are checking that the session has a success key or not. 
if it has or let's say our key exist so within s3 element we have to display our data and as we know that to display any data we need to use our curly pairs and inside this we are going to call it say success it's not success it's session and inside this session we need to pass the key where we have stored all we have done so if you save all these changes go here reload this page let's create a student these are the dummy details click on submit and as we can see that a success message we are getting as well as the redirection after saving to the add student page if we go to table click on refresh and as we can see that we are getting our data inside this table as well so successfully these snippets means the simplest concept we have integrated and by the help of these concepts now it is looking much better from the previous video now this time we have a confirmation as well as a successful redirection so inside next video we will see some more different topics so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day